Your car won't start? Let's get under the hood and get you back on the road. Hopefully this is a simple solve like a dead battery. But if it is a bit more complex, such as a faulty starter motor or corroded battery terminals, we'll chat through that one too. The most frequent roadblock to a smooth start is a dead battery. If there are no instrument panel lights when you turn the key or press the starter button, a dead battery could be the culprit. This could happen if you left power draining functions on like the headlights, interior lights, or stereo. Or it could be due to a loose wire. If your battery's just drained, you can recharge it with a battery charger. Check out our how-to video over here. Jump starting is an option too. But if your battery is getting a bit older, you should probably consider a replacement. To check your battery, follow the steps in this video here. To test the starter, turn the ignition key and listen for clicks. If you hear clicks but no engine cranking, you could have a starter problem. Use a multimeter to check the voltage for your starter. If it's low, you found your issue. Problematic relays and fuses can also be the culprits of a car that won't start. A properly functioning starter relay completes the electrical circuit and gives your battery's current a boost during ignition. A blown fuse can also break the circuit and disrupt the power flow from your battery to your ignition and starter. Find your fuse box. This is typically under a plastic cover in the engine bay or behind a dashboard panel next to the steering wheel. Use your manual to identify the fuses connected to your ignition. Carefully remove them and inspect for any breaks in the metal wiring inside the plastic housing. If you spot a gap, replace the fuse with one of the same amperage rating. If your starter relay is to blame instead, you'll need to swap relays, which is a more involved fix. If there's a clicking noise, slow engine crank, or grinding noise, you may have a faulty starter motor. If this sounds like your car, it's best to consult a skilled mechanic who can diagnose and replace your starter motor. When none of the previous culprits fit the bill, a seized engine might be the cause. Engine seizures typically occur due to overheating. This is often caused by lack of oil, leading internal parts to break or fuse together. Fixing a seized engine is a complex task and not recommended for DIY. A simpler problem is corroded battery terminals. With gloves and protective eyewear on, turn your car off. Pop the hood and check for brown, blue, white, or green discharge or any buildup on the battery terminals. Disconnect the negative battery cable, then the positive one, and clean both terminals with a brush and a mixture of baking soda and water. Rinse with distilled or deionized water, dry off cable ends completely, and then reconnect. Once connected, apply a battery spray protector to keep corrosion from reoccurring. A bad alternator can also result in your car not starting. An alternator charges your battery and powers your car's electrical systems. If you notice dim interior lights or a battery warning sign on your dashboard, this could indicate a failing alternator. To check if your alternator's at fault, let your car run after a jump start. If it eventually dies, the alternator is probably the problem. By now, hopefully your car is up and running. But if you've made it this far and it still won't start, get in touch with an automotive professional. Or reach out. We're here to help. Head to interstatebatteries.com for the best in battery care and support.